Wake up, sleepyheads. This is your Uncle Grandy again. Give me some news you might not yet have heard. <clears throat> there was a shooting um, in New, New Orleans. You got 19 people injured on, on a Mother's Day shooting. Guess there was a parade going on for mothers. It was two kids shot so far and 17 others. And so far they're saying no one is was killed in this shooting. So here we go, folks. Now, I believe the shooting is... It's, it's, it's like a real incident. It's like maybe some drug dealers or some other brainwashed youth shooting at each other following a mass media and Jay-Z type crowds believing in shooting and hurting each other. And the reason I believe that it's, it might be real is because uh, the mainstream media is not jumping all over it like and they you know how the the police and all the channels and all the news talking about it now a lot of black people gonna say well that's cause it's black people uh they don't care if black people get shot no that ain't that ain't what it is what it is is they didn't plan it they didn't have the preparations they didn't have the the people in place to to control the scene and control the narrative and, and 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 you know cordon off the areas because it was a real event with that being said just because it wasn't a really uh i mean a, a false flag doesn't mean they won't use this as an opportunity to come in there and lock the city down see they don't have all the people in place yet but you know, later on the day or tomorrow, they can have the infrastructure in place to start saying, okay, yeah, we got the photos, we know who these guys are, so we better uh, look for them. We're going to go door to door and, and, and start searching until we find these guys like they did in Boston. You see how that worked? So, all you people in New Orleans, be on alert, high alert, because uh, it could be coming your way. It may not, but then again, it could be. So uh, if you got anything in your house you don't want nobody to know about, <laughs> now's the time to start making, making sure your house is in order. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, and uh. You know, I don't know if New Orleans have uh, it's legal to grow marijuana. It is in Michigan. If you got a grower card, but remember, even if it's legal in the state, it's illegal for the federal government. So if a federal agent come in your house, you get my point. So even though this is another tragedy. You know, they probably will try to blame it on the guns. They're not going to blame it on this culture of society that's teaching everybody to kill each other. Especially our people. Think about it. Just say I was a, a, a homosexual male. And I made a song called, Come Out the Closet or Kill Yourself. If you got to stay in the closet, you deserve to die. Kill yourself. And then two homosexuals felt bad about being homosexuals, but they didn't want to come out the closet. So they killed themselves. They would demonize the heck out of me. They would, they would try to throw me in jail. They'd be like I was wrong, and even though I'm a homosexual. But uh, as a black man... I can make a record say, kill another black man, blow his head off, call him the N-word, drink music and dance to it, and they'll give me a record contract. 
even though 7,000 black men get killed every year. You see how that works, folks? You got to start thinking for yourselves. If you go down this article, they give you a little bit more detail. You know, at least 19 people were injured on Sunday when multiple gunmen opened fire, fire on a Mother's Day parade in New Orleans. A 10-year-old boy and a 10-year-old girl were glazed by bullets but were in good condition. Blah, 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 blah. Look it up yourself. Now, a lot of y'all be saying, here we go, here we go again. They always talking about the government in it. It's going to be one of two people. It's going to be the obvious persons. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the criminals, the thugged out gangsters in our hood, or the government. Them the only people we know that kill mass people. And usually when it's one of us, people get shot accidentally. Innocent bystanders. And, and, and you don't get that that good of a kill rate. You know, you don't they don't really kill people because it's an accidental shot shot and they're not that damn accurate anyway. Where, you know, it's not like what you see on folks. That's why we don't believe in stuff like Sandy Hook. Where you get one shot and you kill a person automatically. My best friend's been shot 13 times. He's still alive. You get what I'm saying? So when somebody go into school and kill everybody, they, they shoot. That's fishy, folks. It's not like a video game. One shot, one kill. It's not that easy to shoot moving targets. Okay. Now look, go Google Operation Northwoods, right? And go to Wikipedia, and you'll see Operation Northwoods. Now, what was Operation Northwoods? Operation Northwood was a series of false flag proposals originated with the United States government in 1962 but when re, but was rejected by John F. Kennedy the proposal called for the CIA and other operatives to commit perceived acts of terrorists in USA cities and elsewhere these acts of terrorists were, were to be blamed on Cuba. See, that's part of the military playbook when they want the masses to go along with demonizing another people or going into a war. They get you in a state of fear and then they, they pose as the saviors to get you out of that state. Or the, the, the Hegelian dialectic. Problem, reaction, solution. Look this stuff up, folks. We're not just making it up. We didn't come up with these theories. <laughs> We're just telling you what they do. What's on the record. You gotta wake up. We don't make this stuff up. Let me show you something else. That's a trip. This is in This is out of World Net Daily. All right. <laughs> and this is Has, has, a, has Bible prophet been echoed in New York City? And they're talking about they put the capstone on um, the tower. Now it's called the new tower. And when they um, put the capstone on, they gave a speech. The head of the project. The building project, Steve Plate boasted prior, prop, 
pridefully. Here you go. Give us a tremendous indication to the people around the entire region and the world that we're back and better than ever. And that's the same quote in Isaiah 10 when the uh, city was destroyed by God and the people boasted that we're going to rebuild bigger and better than ever. And it's funny that they call it the tower. At, at, you know, like the Tower of Babel. And this is what we're not paying attention to. They do all this stuff in our face. And they believe in Satan. We supposedly believe in God. They stick to their paganism, their rituals, and all they all they beliefs, but yet we don't stick to the word of God. And that's why they winning, folks. We follow Satanists and everything, and, and devil worshipers, like Jay-Z, who call himself uh, Jehovah, which means God. So he think he's a God. But look at this photo. It's nothing new under the sun, folks. Look at that. That's Jay-Z today. And that's a 1933 photo of a man. You tell me. Has he been here before, folks? There's nothing new under the sun. Remember, you know, in 1933, in Harlem, African Americans was doing pretty well. When that guy was there, we was on the rise. And then we fell. Now he's here. Which way are we heading, folks? It's just something to think about. Once again, wipe your sleepy eyes. This your Uncle Grandy. Stay up.